these Muslims become very aggressive and gang up on this man of God as he exposes Islam for what it truly is and their hatred for the Jews. I read the Quran and I think reading the Quran, Islam should be declared a crime against humanity. Crime against humanity. Well, crime against Jews and Christians, crime against women, crime against people who leave Islam, uh, crime against, you know, anyone who wants to make sense. So please explain to me, please explain to me, where is the problem? Have you ever read the Quran? Yes. What is the uh, treatment of Islam, the Islamic theology towards Christians and Jews? You tell me. Have you ever read the Quran? Jizya attacks him. Have you ever read the Quran? Yes. What do you understand when reading the Quran as to how Jews and Christians ought to be treated? Treated in what sense? In war? In what? In what, what sense? What way do we treat them? In Darul Halb, in Darul Kufr, uh, in the non Muslim land, in a Muslim land, what are you talking about? The Quran about? doesn't have. What do you mean treating? What do you mean treating? Okay. Once, 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 once. Yeah, once. Yeah, go, go. In the Quran, yes. there is no such thing called non-Muslim land, Muslim land. You understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't don't bring in irrelevant points. The Quran is very clear as to how Jews and Christ, how it views Jews and Christians, how Muslims should view Jews and Christians. Based on the details that you've read from the Quran, why do you think Islam should not be declared a crime against humanity? What's your problem with it? I'm not gonna go. Okay, on I'll I'll give you a list. Sure, sure. Sure. Sure, sure. Let me let me give you some details. Let me give you some details and you can then defend, yeah? The Quran one second. The Quran the Quran Christian, you are Christian, but Christian Christianity should pay for its crime that he the have Quran, against people as the well. Quran, so you come here and attack and attack about talk about the Quran and attack about Islam, but you don't read about Christianity. Exit, exit, exit and this all way, Christianity, exit this way. all Christianity Quran, used to kill people me, as well. We, we are trying so to have that trying, was that was in don't those touch me, days, don't touch me. Please don't touch me. I'm not touching you. That you didn't is, touch me I don't times. even want to touch you. Okay. That was that what is in those the Quran, days. But in these days, these days the Quran is things. You understand? The Quran so talk about things. these days right now. Talk about these days right now. Yeah? Sure. Talk about I'm these gonna, days right now. Because, 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 because back then, back then, there was a war. Back then, there was a war. Everybody killed everybody back then. Everybody killed everybody then. The Quran thinks Jews are like dogs. Would you agree with that? Where's the reference? Surah 7, Ayah 176. So, have you ever read? If it says so, you'd think Jews are like dogs? Bring a, open the copy for me. Surah 7, Ayah 176. Open, open the copy for me. I'd like to ma read many things. Uh, open the copy here for me. Open the verse. Okay, let's read. So, if the Quran... No, 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 open the verse in the book, please. When we open and find out that Islam thinks no, no, Jews it, are like Muslims, me. what okay, are you planning to do? Open it for me, let me read it, let me read it. Surah 7, Ayah 176. Had we willed, had we willed, we could have raised him by their means. But he clung to the earth and followed his own lust. Him, him. him. Will, 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 clung to his own lust. Therefore, his likeness is of the likeness of a dog. The likeness of a dog. Yeah. That, we'll, we'll come to that in a little bit. Yeah. Like. Uh, you said all Jews, and now you're saying him. You're saying all Jews, and now you're saying him. Have you ever read this surah? You're saying all Jews are Have you have you have you ever read this uh, no, surah? No, no, no. You gave me a verse here. Have you ever read the surah? No, 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 no. Forget that here. You gave me a verse, and you said it says all Jews are like dogs. Now it says he, the likeness of him is like a dog. Who is him? And yeah. How can we? Can we, to all Jews? can we? Clearly, you haven't read the. You made a claim. You have to defend it. Why are you asking me to defend it? Let him finish. That's why he's gonna come. Go on, go on, go on. Let's read it. Clearly, you haven't read your Quran. Go and read it. And so, let me clarify. Surah one, uh, Surah seven, Ayah one five nine. And of Moses' people. Who are Moses' people? Ben Yisrael. Good. Yes. So you see the context there? Moses' people. Moses' people, yeah. Yeah. So, so Surah 1. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Don't, don't. Uh, clearly, you haven't got a clue, and no, I, you no, asked no, me, no, no, no. and I'm giving Why you an answer. Excuse me. 
look. I'll leave right now if you're getting rude. You, you can leave any moment you want. But the point is, you clearly, when I read the verse that I read, I'm you were, asking you a were, question. you I'm said, asking a you demonstrated says, your this, ignorance. This is a singular pronoun in the verse here. How you saying it applies to a multitude of people? It says the likeness of him. Him. How is that going to a whole shout. form of people? Please don't shout. Okay. No, because it's shining over me. It's shining over me. As if you know more. Give, go give, on. Give. Go on. Explain. Are you scared of reading your own I'm Quran? Okay. But you made a claim. You have to defend it. That is okay. Yeah. No problem. So, so, so even, now even, can we read even, once a bit of time? Once a bit of time. So, surah, well. sir, please so don't okay. touch me, sir. Please don't touch me, sir. Surah, excuse me, sir. So that is okay. Seven, surah seven, ayah one five nine. Moses' people. We agree. It's about. Israel, don't read. Surah, the same Surah, Ayah 160. We divided them into 12 tribes, nations, and in, we inspired Moses when his people asked him for water and so on. So, who, who are we still talking about? You tell me. You're making a claim. You have to. Why are you asking me a question? Ask me to defend. It's myself. your book, isn't it? Brother, you ask me to defend. Something. Are you a Muslim? I'll defend, I'll you know, you clearly are clueless. So maybe you're not a Muslim. Is there a Muslim who? Are you a Muslim, sir? Yeah. 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 So this this gentleman is clueless. Have you ever read your Quran? Okay. I'm I'm trying to read from Quran, and he seems terribly scared, and he seems to demonstrate that he doesn't know the scriptures. I uh, your your Quran. So let me let's let's read this. Yeah. Surah 7, Ayah 176. This is the reason portrays, why war cannot. Portrays, this is the reason why war cannot done in this world. This is because the reason why people, we should stay because away. Because of people like this, this people, this Christianity. This is the reason why war and corruption cannot finish in this world. This is the reason why there, there will be no peace. Where's your in water? This world Have you got because water? Because of people like this, 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 this man. This Surah Christ, 7, Ayah 176, Ayah 176, portrays Jews as dogs. Based on this, I'd I'm trying to find out why Islam should not be declared as crime against humanity. This is what I'm trying to find out. Because if I, if I... You know, this is, this is as clear as it could get. One of the most racist comments. Something that can demonstrate why the nation of Israel is currently being attacked. And so I'm trying to understand. The gentleman here has some religious clothing on. And so I thought he religious might know clothing, the Quran. But I read, I read, I read one verse. Excuse me. I read one verse. Excuse me. I read one verse. I read one verse. And he was scared already. Surah 7, Ayah 176. Jews are portrayed as dogs. Based on this, I'd like to have Islam categorized as crime against humanity. What would you say about that? You're clearly wrong. Show me the verses. Yeah, please. Surah, it's here. Surah 7, Ayah 176. Say that was in the past. I say that was in the Excuse, past. Don't push. And if you want to bring up that right now, say I away. say Christianity. If you no, say away, Christianity. That's fine. That's fine. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Excuse me. Don't touch me. You don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stay away. Yeah. You pushed. You pushed my. Pushing you. Yeah. Who pushed the microphone? It's on record. Who pushed the microphone? Do you know who pushed? Who pushed the microphone? You touch me physically. If you don't like, you can move on. Don't touch my Quran as if you want to engage in a conversation and at the same time push my other hand. Please don't do it. Stay away if you don't like. Clearly, clearly, no. In, in our nation, when people grow up, brains also grow up and we begin using them. We are trained to use them. Clearly, 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 we're clearly we're you're not we're trained we're and therefore I really commend to you to stay away, stay away from speaker's corner, stay away from uh, any public place if you can't engage in an intelligent public discourse. For other Muslims who might be intelligent, let me ask the same question again. Surah 7, Ayah 176 seems to suggest that Jews are Jews are dogs. Based on this, I'd really like to categorize Islam as a crime against okay. humanity. Okay. You're not read. just this. Okay, you read. Let's let's go you, through you it. Excuse me, sir. I'm not here you to read. deal with your ignorance no, right no, now. No, 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 we are no, trying no, to deal with read. some intelligent comments. Any and intelligent say, Muslim say, who wants to engage in a conversation can begin engaging. Yes, sir. 
No, no, you he read that. He read are you a Muslim, sir? That's fine. Are you a Muslim, sir? I'm asking. You're not, you're not. Surah 7, Surah 7, Ayah 176. Are you a Muslim, sir? Are you a Muslim, sir? Surah 7, Ayah 176. Jews are like dogs. Is that, is, that, is that a sensible statement to make? Is that a sensible statement to make? I think Islam should be categorized as a crime against humanity. It doesn't stop here. I'll go through a long list for you if you want. In a lot of books. There is a lot of Surah 62. Excuse me, books. Bring your own camera, record your own stuff, sir. Surah 62. Surah 62. Are you a Muslim, sir? But are you a Muslim? Yeah, please, please try and explain. Surah 62, Ayah 5. Jews are like donkeys. Are you happy with this idea? Metaphor. So, would you like to be called as a donkey by as a metaphor? Would you like? Uh, so, you, uh, so you don't like it as, even as a metaphor. So, who cares if it is a metaphor or not? Why would you... You are a Muslim. You consider Quran as your uh, word from your own God. Why would they call... Why would it call Jews as donkeys? Why? Metaphor, please come. Why? I'm terribly upset. You as an individual is very clearly stating, you are very clearly stating that you wouldn't be called, you wouldn't like to be called a donkey. Which I completely understand. I wouldn't like to be called a donkey. Neither would my brother here and my friends here and so on. We wouldn't want to call any human being a donkey. It's a very, it's not just rude. If I were to use the, state, uh, the word rude, that will be an understatement. The very fact is Islam is nasty, evil, wicked. To the core and the gentleman here he hasn't read his Quran so he's clueless so this is what Islam does raises people in the millions who are clueless mobilizes them as an army again who are clueless this day this young man don't touch me you did touch me you did touch me again you did touch me again you did touch me again so the why not well, why should I? Why can't I speak about you? Because you touched me already. Why can't I speak about you? What's that? You know the best way to do that? Stay away. Okay, that's fine. So your voice would be recorded. Your voice would be recorded. The fact that you clearly can't even uh, demonstrate composure would be recorded. So let's go on. So uh, uh, Islamic, yes. Well, they get angry because they haven't got. They get angry because they. First, yeah. Well, if you are clueless. You said I was dressed in religious clothing. Is this religious clothing? Is it religious clothing? You made a claim, defended. Is this religious clothing? What is it then? It's cultural clothing. Cultural clothing. Cultural clothing. Where, where were you born? Huh? Where were you born? Don't ask personal. Where were you born? It's cultural clothing. Yeah, you're saying this is cultural, cultural clothing. clothing. Where were you born? I was born here. You were born here. I was born here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your nationality? You were born don't here. What's questions. your nationality? No, no, I'm trying to understand what culture no, you have in your no, mind. Don't ask about I'm culture, really don't trying to understand what question, culture yeah. you don't have in your mind. You were born here. What is your nationality? What's your nationality, sir? Don't make him ask you any question. You ask him question. So, these, so clearly, all right, okay. These, these are, these are the Let's go through this list, my dear friends. Surah 7, Ayah 176. According to Islam, Jews should be seen as dogs. Surah 60, 62, Ayah 5. According to Islam, Jews should be seen as donkeys. Surah 98, Ayahs 6 and 7. According to Islam, Jews and Christians are worst of creatures when they don't agree with Islam. Surah 4, Ayahs 47, 53, 154, 155 have some very nasty comments about Jews. Surah 17, Ayah 22 to 39. Friends of devil, Bani Israel. The topic, the surah's name is Bani Israel. And it goes on to describe the friends of devil. Surah 2, Ayah 65, apes. Now, let me ask you, my dear friends, what, reading, how is reading going to help? How is reading going to help? Yeah, yeah. How is reading going to help? Have you ever read the Quran? Read the ayah. Have you ever read the Quran? Yeah, of course. Have you ever read the Quran? Yeah, of course. So you should know Surah, uh, the, the Surah 7, Ayah 176. Read it. Read it. You, should, you should know. Open it, read it. Have you ever read the Quran? Of course. But so, Surah 7, Ayah 176, why dogs? Why are Jews read it, like read dogs? It. 
Why are Jews like dogs? Open would you agree with that statement? If Surah, open, if open, the open. Quran says, if the Quran says they are like dogs, would you agree with that? It doesn't say that. Would open you agree with that? I can open it. Would you agree with that? Would you agree with that? I'm saying open the book. Would you agree with that? You don't know. If you don't know, just say. You don't know. Good. How old are you now? How old are you now? You don't know why. Hey, what religion are you? How old are you? You don't know why. No, no, no. no you don't know I am a why. Christian. How old are you? Christian, I can say in, 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 Bible verse in, 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 1, this says X, Y, Z. Open it, let's read it. You My dear know. friend, I can make, how in, old are you? Making baseless statements. In the ancient of the years, I am making, so, according to the Quran, how should Jews and Christians and be treated? You tell me. Open the book and we don't know Jews why. and Christians don't who this. don't receive oh, Islam, what is the view of Islam of these people? You know the verse you said, verse uh, chapter seven, verse one. Read it. One six seven. Read it. Jews and Christ you tell me. You have read the Quran. How long have you read the Quran? Long time. Many years. Yeah. Many years. According to the Quran, Jews and Christians who haven't accepted Islam, yeah. what is Islam's view of them? Read the. You what, tell me. What is Islam's view of what? Who haven't accepted of Islam? Jews and Christians yeah. who have rejected Islam, who what continue is, to is, reject what Islam. Is what is what, what is, is Islam's view, view of them? What is your view of Jews and Christians in these days now? Yeah. What is your view of Jews and Excuse Christians? Excuse me, sir, you need to stand in, in the queue. Now. I'm asking the questions right now. What is your view? What is your, what view? Is your view of Jews don't be and confused. Christians in these days now? Jews and Christians we, no, who no, do no, not no. accept We're Islam, not what, is your, what is Islam's view of them? We are talking about the present now. Yeah. What is your, because we don't know what's happened in the past. No, we are talking about the present now. What is <laughs> Why is this guy being desperate? About Jews and Christians now in these days. <laughs> you sir, please come here. Please come here, please. That's fine. So you tell me, what is your view? What's that? One second. Well, people who I need to love, people who the Lord Jesus Christ loves, people who God of the Bible loves. So you please tell me, sir, what is your view of Jews and Christians? Are you Muslim, sir? Are you Muslim, sir? I've answered already. People. Okay, listen to me. I answered already. Right now, we can't say he's dark and we can't say man. I'm going to say, say it second time. Please listen. People who ought to be loved. People who ought to be spoken to and, you know, given witness to concerning Jesus Christ, but until then, to be loved. That's the view of non-Christians from Christianity. Love. Now, are you a Muslim, sir? Are you a Muslim, sir? Yeah, please, now, tell me, why sh what is the view of Islam on Jews and Christians who do not receive Islam? The view of is that you, they should be loved the same way you love your brother. So where, where, show, quote me one verse in the Quran to make that point. Quote me one verse in the Quran to make that Excuse me, don't, don't, excuse me, don't lie, sir. Don't lie, sir, don't lie. Excuse me, sir, don't lie. Show me one verse in the Quran. Show me one verse in the Quran to demonstrate. You are shamelessly lying in a public place, sir. Show me one verse. So the gentleman says, Jews and Christians who don't receive Islam should be loved. Do you agree with that? No. In the Quran, Do you agree with that? Let me tell you, in the Quran it says, not all Christians are the same. Some are better not than all others. Christians. Or what? Not all Christians are the same. Some are better oh, than others. Lovely, lovely. Some are humble. Some are so it's, well, what is the general view of Jews and Christians who do not receive Islam in according to Islam? What's the view? If you do not receive the message of Islam, God will judge you differently. What is your treatment? What is Islam's treatment today? The Prophet made a peace agreement with Jews. Have, have you ever read the Quran? Yes, of course. Surah 7. Surah, let's... Let's open it. Let's open it. Yeah, let's read. Yeah, okay, let's read. Let's read, yeah. Go on. So, so let's, yeah. let's read. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surah 7, Ayah 159. Moses' people. Who are Moses' people? Yeah? 159, yeah. Who are Moses' people? The Bani Israel. Bani Israel, yeah. Surah, uh, same Surah, Ayah 160. Yeah. Moses. 160 or 159? Which one? Which one do you want to share? Can you read multiple verses at a time? Which one do you want we're, to We're going, we're going once no, 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 at a time. You made a claim. We're going, we're going to 176 right now. Uh, do you ever read a passage? Open, let's read it, let's read it. See, now you're closing the Quran. Let's read it. 
You know why I'm closing the Quran? Because I think I think you are as primitive as some of the other people who showed up here. You're not sincere. Wallah, you're not sincere. Your heart, you just, you're not sincere. When I tell you, what is it? Explain, explain. You're not sincere. One seven and six, we are about to read. Yeah, let's read. Okay, okay, let's read one seven. And had we willed, we could have. Are you listening? Had we willed, had we willed, we could have raised him by their means. Had we willed, we could have raised him by their means. But he clung to the earth, followed and followed his own lust. Therefore, one second. Therefore, his likeness is as the likeness of a dog. Who is this? Who is this? Who are these then? Subhanallah, wallah, you proved yourself wrong. There's about people who follow their own desires, the Allah. Who? People, anyone who followed people, look, let's read it. So, oh, okay, so. <laughs> who, who raised them, therefore his likeness as, see, the people who follow their desires, their lust. Yeah. Yeah. This is not about, my friend, who are these? Don't, I swear, to, this is very, look, if you're sincere, you'll admit you made a mistake. Who, who are these? These are people who follow their desires. So, can people we, who, can we try and find out who these people are? How do we find out who these people it's are? written here. No. How do you, Excuse me, how do we find out who these people are? You're not sincere, I swear. How do we, you can swear as long as you want. How do we find out who these people are? My, my advice. How do we find out who these people are? It's Excuse written. me. It's written. How do we find out who these people are? The people, uh, to find out who they are, it's written and the verse who they are. Yeah. People who follow their desires and their love. Yeah, how do we find out who these people are? Listen, you're not sincere. Well, you're wasting Thank time. you very much. Yeah, wasting time. You can move on. Move on. Clearly, you can't read anything in context. Have you ever read the word? Have you ever heard the word context? Of course. I'm what does context mean? Gave you the context. Have you, what What does context mean? You're not. What does context mean? You're wasting time. What does context mean? Context is the meaning behind something. Context is the meaning behind something. Are you sure okay, about this you tell word? Me what the context? Context is the meaning behind something. Meaning behind. Where is behind? Behind like that? Where is behind? Not context is context is where you understand a verse yeah. by reading by understanding what went beforehand to understand who were being spoken of. Yeah. That is what context is. Who's now, would you like would you like to find that out? Would you like to find that out? Would you like to find that out? And that is where I went to Surah. What? You want another page? Are you afraid of other pages? Pages in the Quran? No, you made a claim about one. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you afraid? Are you afraid of reading the other other pages? Can you give me ten seconds to talk? No, no. If you can't make sense, if you please go on, please go on. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you guys can see, he provided the verses that show that Muslims murder the unbelievers. Not only do they hate the unbelievers, but they hate them so much that they're willing to murder them. So according to Islam, if you don't convert to Islam, whether it's because you're a Jew, a Christian, a pagan, whatever it is that you are, if you don't become a Muslim, they have every single right to murder you. This is according to Sharia law, which actually comes from the Quran. Now the issue with this, guys, is as you guys may know, uh, many Muslims in the Western world tend to be a lot nicer for the most part. Now there are some bad apples, but a lot of Muslims seem to be nice. But the issue is these nicer quote unquote Western Muslims don't condemn the actions of Islamic terrorist attacks. So are they really nice or are they waiting for themselves to be the larger population? We have to like really weigh this stuff out guys. Are they really being nice or are they waiting until they're the dominant population? All throughout history, all Islam has done. They have been nice to countries. Countries have been very lenient with them. And what they do is they wait until they're the dominant population. Then they go ahead and control everything. So if you guys don't know, Islam is the only religion in the world where the God actually tells them to lie. Their God tells them it's okay and permissible to lie as long as it's for the purpose of furthering Islam. So as long as Muslims are furthering Islam, they can lie. So if this means pretending to be your friend, if this means acting like allies of a country, then 50, 20 years down the road, taking over that country once they're the dominant population, that's what that means to commit Zakia. So this is a very, very serious thing, guys. And I don't think we should take Islam as some kind of joke, guys. It's a very, very serious thing, guys. 
You know, because it tells them literally to hate the Jews. It tells them to hate Christians. It's anti-Semitic. It's anti-Christ. It's anti-people, guys. It's a really demonic, diabolical religion. And all I'm going to get from the comments below are a bunch of Muslims saying, Oh, you look like this. Or you, you're dumb. Or, you know, you know, insulting me on things that, that's not actually answering my question. They're not actually refuting the claims that I'm trying to make. And what's my evidence, actually? That, I, that, that Muslims are like this. Well, I actually have received messages. I've received comments on my post below. You guys can see them for yourself. And in those comments or messages, you, can, you guys can see that Muslims get very upset. They even threaten to kill me. That's the fruit of Islam, guys. That's the difference between Christianity and Islam. Christianity tells you to turn the other cheek and to love thy neighbor. Islam teaches you to murder thy neighbor if they don't conform to Islam. So this is a very dangerous virus and many people are falling for it, especially in the Western world, guys. We have to stop being soft. We have to stop being soft because this stuff is just going to get worse and worse and worse if we don't stand up and do something about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications. I appreciate your financial support. Uh, thank you for liking. Comment below what you guys think, and I hope that you guys have a very blessed weekend.